The hardware autofocus on the spinning disc is a very useful tool that will let you keep your cells in focus over the course of a long time lapse. The way it works is it uses an infrared beam to find the position of the cover slip and then it has a mechanism that keeps the position of the cover slip relative to the objective constant during the experiment. So if that um, relative position of cover slip and objective drifts due typically to thermal fluctuations, the hardware autofocus will compensate for that. Now it's not going to compensate uh, for changes in your cell's positions relative to the cover slip, for example if they ball up or crawl into a matrix, but at least it will deal with thermal fluctuations uh, when you're running an experiment. So how do we engage the hardware autofocus in Metamorph? The way to do that is to click here where it says use dual Z motors. Uh, and then in hardware autofocus, we're going to say we want to do this every time point. So we're going to check and make sure the focus is correct for every time point. Um, if we were taking time points very close together, uh, we might want to do every nth time point. But typically, if you're going every few minutes, it's a good idea to just do the hardware autofocus every time point. If we go back to time lapse, I've modified this off camera. Uh, to have a one second interval uh, between, uh, between images uh, for a total of 15 time points. Now, for this autofocus to work properly, you actually have to have at least one stage position because that is how uh, you tell the autofocus where it should, um, what its reference point should be. So we're going to click on this, which says multiple stage positions. Go here and just delete all of the stage positions by clicking on the first one and then clicking on this X until we get rid of all of them. And now we're going to add a position where we are if we are in focus. I'm going to go to live. That seems like we're in focus. So then uh, before we add that position for it to, for the autofocus to be read, we're going to click on find offset and then add the position. If we don't do that, then the autofocus won't know where to go. Um, and so it won't work during live cell imaging. So let me turn off the live. So now that we have a time lapse, the multiple stage positions with just our this position set up, the wavelengths is ready, the time lapse is ready. And if you look at main, we've turned on the hardware autofocus for every time point. When we hit acquire, What's going to happen is before every single time point, the autofocus is going to find the cells and then allow the system to take an image. And every time it finds the cells, it's going to beep, which is the beeping that perhaps you can hear in the background. So over the course of uh, the time, uh, you know, just one second intervals that I'm doing this experiment, uh, this is not going to be very noticeable. But the effects of this hardware autofocus in long time lapses is dramatic because over long time lapses, things do drift. And so having something that automatically uh, finds uh, sort of the position of the cells relative to the position of the cover slip uh, and media interface is a very useful way of keeping the Z relatively constant throughout the experiment.